In the tech industry, evolution is the name of the game. The version 1 access port was groundbreaking for its time, but the design and interface aged really quickly. In the mid-2000s, everybody had a color screen flip phone in their pocket, so this big brick with its little green screen just wasn't that appealing anymore. Hence, the release of the version 2 access port. The V2 basically took all the awesome tuning convenience of the V1 and made it smaller, faster, and even more useful. Improved memory and processing power meant that maps flashed to the ECU much quicker, data logging could be performed at a better resolution, and it introduced on-the-fly real-time adjustments for features like launch control, ignition timing, etc. Plus, the nice little color screen provided far more information to display live sensor data to the driver so they could see boost or oil temps and have little panic attacks about random engine behavior that was probably no big deal anyway. 